Hey Tubies, Scott here. I'm the old dude with the new bees. Got a new video coming your way, so roll that beautiful bee footage. Hey Tubies, Scott here from Weed Bees. Uh, let's see, we got a little treat for you today. For all you boys and girls out there in uh, WW Tubie land. We uh, are in a little strange situation here. You know, we just did a video the other day. It's uploading now, so you'll see that. Uh, it's kind of strange, and I'm going to blow a lot of people away with this, especially most beekeepers. Here it is, the 18th of July, and I'm getting ready for the nectar flow. Now you say, how could that be? There's no way. Right now we're getting ready for the dearth. Well, I'm in a very unique situation down here in South Georgia. Uh, this is a first year bees here, and then this is a first year beekeeper here. Uh, these bees have filled up a whole box a whole brood box so there's a ton of bees in there and uh, we went ahead and you'll see in the in the, the, the last video we went ahead and added a brood box for them but uh, the thing of it is where we live right now we live out out in the boonies way out in the country and uh, we have a very unique situation here which is really going to be good for us most First year beekeepers don't get to get any honey, so this is really going to be uh, awesome for us, I think. Uh, what it boils down to is uh, everybody else is preparing for the dirt because there's nothing out there. In our case, about a half mile in that direction, there is a cotton field. Cotton field's got blooms, they got lots of pollen and lots of nectar. So that's good for the bees. Alright? Then about a mile that way. And, well, now the cotton field, there's probably 200 acres of cotton out there, so that's really going to be good. The, uh, a mile that way is a peanut field, and it's probably 100 acres, and peanuts have a ton of pollen and nectar also. Then about a half a mile down from that, there's about probably 10 or 20 acres of sunflowers. So uh, all this stuff's coming out right now, so we are in a very odd situation. Most people would say, no, no, you can't do that. But uh, I spoke to my uh, mentor the other day, hey Verge, and uh, we talked about it and he's like, wow, he says, you need to prepare, be prepared for the nectar flow, not for the dearth. So, with that being said, I want to introduce you guys to our uh, hive over here. I uh, bought this hive in, uh, I don't know, April, May, something like that. It's called the Flow Hive. And uh, it's a very unique thing. You don't even have to remove this and uh, spin out all your honey and stuff. And of course, I got my queen excluder. You got to have that. I'll explain that in a second. Anyway, uh, with the flow hive here, it is very unique. And I'm doing this because a lot of people may not know this. This is very expensive. Thank you, stimulus check. Uh, we were able to get this. This is like 500 bucks, so it's like really expensive. Most people probably couldn't afford that or uh, couldn't, uh, you know, are not in a situation to have one of these, so we're very fortunate. All right, so what I want you to see here is we've got all these honeycombs that are made up in this frame. And it's really neat. So the bees don't have to make any honeycomb. All they have to do is go in where these little honeycombs are and fill in the little slots. Then what happens is, after they fill all these up and cap them, we take this off right here, this end cap. You stick a big long key in here and you spin it. And what it does is, each one of these honeycombs are split in two. So when you turn that key, uh, one half of those honeycombs in each one of these will split. Basically they'll do like this they'll split that'll uncap the honey it will run down into this chamber down on the bottom 
and then we'll take this end cap out and we'll put a little tube on there you got to invert the hive a little bit but you put a tube on there and your honey will run run down here and then down through here then out this so uh, we're really anxious to try this and uh, hopefully it's going to work out real good this is the uh, flow hive 2 I think it's made to uh, fit with a Langstroth uh, tin frame so uh, as you can see these things are really nice these flow hive people uh, they're ingenious with their design Oops. But, except when I put them in wrong then they don't work too good okay uh, they're ingenious with their design you see here you got a little uh, window even though it's stuck right oh shoot uh, stuck right now because of where I painted it and you've got a, a viewing window here so you can actually see the bees at work and you can see if uh, if they've capped the, the outer cells which is usually you know they'll work their way outside the inside so it's just got lots of neat things uh, <clears throat> on this end you've got another viewing thing here plus you can also uh, that's where you hook the little tubes and up here you uh, take this loose and that's how you access your things to open up the uh, uh, the frames so this thing is just it's really neat uh, it's awesome uh, I didn't think we'd get a chance to use this this year but I went ahead and got one just in case and what what you run into here is you need to use a queen excluder that's what this is basically what that does is because you don't have to remove this to uh, harvest your honey you don't want your queen getting up into your honey box honey super whatever you want to call it you don't want her getting up there and laying brood because so that'll just mess things up so what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take off our feeder our syrup feeder and uh, all right we'll do that Oops. hopefully my uh oh we got a small problem here uh, technical glitch okay now through the magic of video you can see poof I got my suit on and I got this thing ready what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove our uh, uh, cover for our For our rapid round feeder now what we're doing is we're just going to smoke the bees and uh, get them all down come on girls gotta get them out there we go come on girls all right there we go oh my goodness there's a bunch of bees up in there come on Come on, you can do it. Our, well, our hive is mostly empty. Of course, this is going to stir them up quite a bit. Alright. Now that we got our rapid round feeder off, like so, uh, let's go ahead and put all this back together. And we'll clean this later. This is probably going to be it for this this year and maybe later on in the year. Anyway, okay. Now, we've got our feeder off. We need to remove our inner cover. There we go. Of course, now you know there'll be plenty of bees on there too. Oh, yeah. Alright, so like Cayman says, just shake them off. And we're going to do something a little different here. Come on, girls. There you go. Come on. They, uh, there we go. All right. Got everybody. Well, almost everybody. There we go. All right. 
Now what we're going to do here is a little bit different. Uh, to help the bees out, we're going to turn the inner cover over. Hey girl, there's one of my girls, hard working girls. Alright, so you see, we're going to go ahead and turn that over to give the bees a uh, place to bypass the rest of the hive. And uh, let's see now, yeah, we're going to add this on here. Uh, let me make sure I'm doing this right. I'm trying to think, yeah, I want to do that. So I want to put that up underneath of there. I don't think so. I think it'd be good just like that. So that way the girls can still come up in this area. Uh, what would that look like the other way? I wonder. Let's see. Oh my goodness, boy, these bees are just going crazy to get up here. Come on, girls. It's okay. There we go. Got everybody shook off. Uh, and which way do we want to do this, I wonder? Do we want to do it this way? That will definitely exclude the queen. Uh, I don't think it really matters. So, I guess... Let me go ahead and do it like this. That way the bees can get up in here. There we go. Like so. That don't want to fit on there just right. It work better the other way maybe. Yeah, it sits there a little better. Alright, so anyway. Uh, hmm. I don't know which way to do this right now. Uh, I think we need to put this up underneath of there. What do you think, honey? And then we can do it either way. Main thing is we want to make sure the queen stays down in her brood box. So, I just don't know which way to go here. thinking boy this thing is just slam full of bees I mean they are just all over come on girl there you go all right we got most everybody off let's see shouldn't harm anybody doing this because they'll be uh, Come on, baby. There you go. All right. Uh, I think this is going to work good. We're going to try this and see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to install our flow hive. And this way, oh my goodness, that thing is heavy already. All right. <laughs> that smoke. Woo. All right, there we go. Oh, I don't like the way that thing moves, but hopefully it'll be okay. Okay, anyway, uh, we put our uh, queen excluder on. You saw that. I also put my inner cover up here so that the bees will have easier access to the flow high versus having to come all the way up through the brood boxes. So I think this is going to work best. Uh oh. Uh, that's a problem. That is a problem I wasn't expecting to run into. I don't know. Let's see. This thing is a little bit of a problem. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm sure if anybody's used one of these, they've probably run into this before. My uh, 
my top cover will not go on with these uh, these little handles on here so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to remove them so that I can put my top cover on so actually you'll learn a little bit of something here if you haven't already tried one of these and you're going to uh, you don't want to use your little handles if you put your uh, cover on there because it gets in the way so now let's put this thing back in here like so alright we'll put the thing on there alright that should work good uh oh it still has a problem still has a problem oh my this doesn't like this uh, this cover uh, it uh, don't really like that cover too much I'm trying to think how we can do this and there is no really way to do this so I'm just going to have to take a chance on this I guess and uh, our, our little locking device is just too wide for our cover so I'm going to have to see about doing anything okay anyway uh, as you can see we installed the uh, queen excluder we uh, installed our flow hive and hopefully this is going to work out real good you know like I said most people say you can't do this in the middle of July today's the 18th down here in South Georgia so uh, because we have so many things around here so many crops and things I think we're going to be able to defy logic and uh, make this thing work out so anyway uh, it's getting late here in the evening. It's probably 8.30, quarter to 9. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, like and subscribe if you like our videos. So that way you can uh, see them in the future when they come out. And I think that's all we're going to do for today. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.